Peace and radical blessings. That's what I want for you. I want your blessings to be so radical that it's beyond your wildest imagination, the good that can flow into your life. Today we want to cover the topic of relationships. This is so very important because as in this human incarnation, relationships, we can't escape them. Ultimately, the primary relationship was with ourself and with the source of all creation. But we have relationships in our lives. We have friends, associates, acquaintanceships, soulmates, intimate partners. People always want to know about relationships and how they can have a good relationship or something along that line. As I said, first of all, your primary relationship is with yourself, is with this presence that's within you, and you have to have a, a level of coherence around that. We'll talk about that uh, later. But in terms of your relationships, you have to understand that the relationship is a ship for transformation. That's what it is. It's a ship for transformation, where individuals are coming together to support each other's growth, development, and unfoldment. Relationships are not to be used to get something from another, even though individuals have been coded that way. I remember sitting with a, a couple one time who were going through particular issues, and they accidentally, inadvertently, on purpose said, she said, he doesn't make me happy. And he said it very similar, she doesn't make me happy. And I, and I ended up teaching them that that's not their role, uh, to be a comedian for each other or to be a clown for each other, to make each other happy. That's not what relationship is for. We end up having that relationship with ourself so that we discover our intrinsic joy and happiness, and then we bring that to a relationship. But we're not trying to extract that from another person. A lot of relationships have a lot of baggage because people have a mental concept that the other is to make them happy. No, happiness comes from within. Joy comes from within. Peace comes from within. And you bring it into the relationship. Imagine for a moment two fish swimming in the ocean water. And you know how fish go. They swim and one moves, the other one moves. One moves, the other one moves. And they're swimming. So imagine the fish had human consciousness. And he says, the, he, he says to the, to the woman fish, listen, listen, baby. If you just do what I want, I'll give you all the ocean water you can handle. Now, that's absurd because they're swimming in ocean water. You can't give it to her. They're in it together. The same thing with love, same thing with happiness. We're swimming in a sea of love. The presence that's never an absence is called love. We're swimming in it. So I can't give it to someone, someone can't give it to me, but we learn to swim in it together. So the purpose of relationship is to learn how to swim together. It's called support. It's called kindness. It's called compassion. It's called honesty. It's, it's called um, forgiveness. All of these qualities, we learn to perfect our loving in relationship. Now, when one comes into that, that's conscious relationship, that's a mature relationship. We're coming to perfect our loving. And then the other person serves as a mirror as to what needs to be perfected within us. And they serve as a place for us to share our expanded awareness. And so then we're swimming together, we're loving together, we're giving together, we're sharing together, but we're not placing a burden on each other to make us happy. That is the demise of many relationships. If an individual has not found the frequency of joy within themselves or happiness within themselves, they're not going to get in a relationship. They're going to become addicted to the temporary high that gets when individuals first meet, and they'll develop an addictive personality around that, demanding that it be that way all the time. But in fact, that particular moment of high is simply a glimpse of what's within you that you think the other person is bringing. And so what do we do? We do our inner work. We find the love 
the peace, the joy within us, self-love, self-appreciation, self-honoring. We become full of that, not from an egotistic point of view, but from a real spiritual expanded point of view, then you find that you're able to give it. You bring it to your friendships, you're not demanding that they make you happy. You bring it. What are you bringing? You're bringing support. You're bringing patience. You're bringing kindness. You're bringing love. There becomes a vibrational match in your relationships. You find yourself associating with people that are bringing you patience, kindness, joy. It's a part of their being and they're exuding it. You're exuding it. You're swimming in it together. It becomes an art. It becomes an art form. And your friendships are deep. Your relationships go from role mates to soul mates. Now, everybody's not playing a certain role. They operate from the soul. And so I dare you to no longer say, I'm looking for someone to make me happy. No longer say he or she doesn't make me happy. No, no, no. Take full responsibility for your own happiness. This, take full responsibility for your own joy. Take full responsibility for your own peace. And then you will radiate into your life individuals that match that frequency. And you'll be swimming in an ocean of love together. Peace together, joy together. And you'll have the patience and develop the skills to have open and honest dialogue and conversation where a growth situation occurs. You can do this. That's why you're in this class. Because you want this. You want to be free to express yourself. And what's beautiful about this? When you become more and more coherent around the joy, the fundamental innate joy that's within you, the fundamental innate peace and harmony and happiness, that's frequency. It's not neutral. It draws people to you and it drives people away. It drives or draws. So when you become more you, some people cannot be with you anymore because there's no vibrational match. Other people that you've only known for a short period of time, you now know each other from the depth of being because they're there too. You're meeting at the sweet spot of self-knowing. Relationships are beautiful. They're beautiful tools for reflection and they're beautiful to explore depths, the depths of meaning and love and peace and joy and generosity. And you're not going to escape relationships. They're everywhere. Even if you go to the top of a mountain, you're by yourself, you'll have interactive thoughts about them. So you might as well come off the reclusive mountain and participate so that you can grow. Here's the practice. This is meditation on life challenges, meditation on different aspects of our life. We want to meditate. That is, pay undistractable attention to that which is real within us in the area of relationships, in the area of relating, in the area of this ship taking us to deeper intimacy and love. You're going to close the outer eye. You're going to squeeze your shoulders up and you're going to tense your body and release. You're going to keep the outer eye closed. You're going to tense your body, squeeze the hands, the bottom of the feet, the shoulders to the ear. Release. You're going to do it one more time. Squeeze and release. That last release. Sigh of relief. You're here. You're now. You're with yourself. You're with life. Remember the breath. It's a talisman for present moment that leads you into the eternal now. You're not longing for the future. You're not running from or running to the past. There are no good old days. Every day is bright 
Every moment is bright with infinite potential. So we come right here, or right now, where the breath is. The breath is right here. You're right here. I want you to think about a moment in your life where you encountered a field of love, support, kindness, for no reason whatsoever. Someone got you. And you were in a field of unconditional love, a field of support. And it wasn't because you won an award or received something glorious or did something good. It may have been in one of the worst moments of your life, but there was someone that just saw who you were. I want you to remember that feeling tone right now, that sense of taken care of, a sense of support, that sense of love, an encounter with kindness. Feel into that now. And let even the person that assisted in the encounter, let them slowly fade away. But what remains is the vibrational encounter that sense of being seen, that sense of being known to the core of your being, that sense of being loved and appreciated. Feel into that right now. And notice something wonderful, that you can feel into that without an external object. You can feel into this sense of being supported and being loved and appreciated. You can feel into your real self without an external object, without another person. Place your attention on this feeling, this contemplate, this feeling of the holy encounter, the encounter of love, the encounter of kindness, peace, compassion, being seen. What does that feel like? The outer eye is closed, the inner eye is open. Two eyes closed, one eye open. And we're seeing, not physically, we're seeing, hearing, feeling, the heart behind the heart, the ear that's behind the ear, and the eye that's behind the physical eye. We're having an encounter with love being seen, appreciated. This is your foundation entering into the avenue of relationships. You're not trying to get this. You're bringing this. And it's increasing with every breath. Take a deep inhalation Release, and let that feeling tone expand. Again, deep inhalation, let it expand. It's exponentially expanding with every breath. Take a deep breath, release, expanding a thousandfold. What you are bringing with you is the feeling tone of appreciation, self-love. You're developing a level of coherence around feeling support, even without an external object. You feel supported. You feel loved. You feel appreciated. It's amplifying within you, and you're bringing this frequency everywhere. Now notice, in the imaginal realm, that when you enter into relationships, friends, associates, intimate partner, that you're making a pact with yourself, 
a vow. Take a vow to bring this with you. And you'll begin to see it. It'll begin to be activated in you and in those that you're intimate with. And that there's not a vibrational match at this particular time they won't stay. You are a sovereign being, and like an astronaut, you're carrying your own atmosphere with you. The atmosphere is self-love and appreciation, kindness, support. You're not looking to get this. You're looking to let this. If you try to get it, you will repel it. If you let it, you'll never be without it. It'll flood your relationships, deepen your friendships, and bring into your sphere those that can play at this level. Contemplate this for a moment. The breath is keeping you present. You have the feeling tone of a joyful, love-filled, supportive encounter. You don't need to have an object for it. It's a part of your feeling nature. You're tapping the mystic chord of memory so that it is right here with you, being amplified with every breath that you take. Your love is being perfected, first with yourself and in your relating. You're not looking to get this. You're looking to let this. Remember what I said, if you try to get it, you'll repel it. If you let it, it will be everywhere. Your relationships are about to change because you are changing. Be with this for a moment. You're setting yourself free. You are free. Be in this awareness and notice that even as you begin to open your eyes, the feeling tone of love, kindness, compassion, peace, is not waning. As you enter into your field of relationships, you're bringing this. And you're adding this to your spiritual practice so you become strong in it as days and weeks and months and years go on. Becoming a sovereign being with the authority over your own awareness. Have fun in your relationships. That's what they're about. It's fun and support and swimming in the grand ocean of love and peace and harmony. Go forth and multiply the consciousness. You can do this. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed this Commune exclusive course lesson. Make sure to click subscribe and check out our Commune course lessons playlist for more content just like this.